What is up guys, Evil Duos Arm here today, and today I have for you a video where we're going to be going over how to uh, get yourself some bonus attributes through the Achievements menu. So this is part of the Beginner series that we've been working on. Um, so this will be the second part of the series where we're going to be going over how to get bonus attributes. So if you've ever looked in the Achievements menu, there's this section called Bonus Attributes. Um, so this Bonus Attributes section, this is really the entire video. Um, all you need to do is complete the accomplishments that you see listed here to go ahead and get the bonus tribute. So you see right now I have Accuracy 100 slotted. This one is a super easy achievement to get, so if you're looking to get one or just start off getting some of these, uh, this is probably the easiest one to get. It's a Lair of the Frozen Fang 10 times. The dungeon is incredibly easy. There's still people um, searching for it, so all you gotta do is go and find a party that's searching for it, or you can just click find it in the F8 lobby and just go ahead and search and get into a party. Super easy to clear. clear any team can clear it, any party comp can clear it, uh, very low health mobs and bosses. Super easy. And it gives you 100 accuracy, which increases your accuracy by actually quite a bit. I think it's about 5%. Um, so it's a very, very good, easy accomplishment to get. The majority of the ones, however, that you're going to be aiming for towards late game and end game sort of stuff here are these attack power achievements. So the attack power, as everybody knows, is just about everything and every finding every lobby in this game. Even though, really, it stats like accuracy, piercing, and uh, those crit uh, crits, yeah, crit chances, those are all more important um, as you start getting to higher APs. But for the most part, you're not going to get into parties without AP, so you're going to need to put these achievements on. So the ones you should be aiming for on this one is the Desolate Tomb 100 times. It's a dungeon you're going to have to farm anyway to go ahead and get your uh, legendary accessory, which we got another video of that coming out pretty soon as well on um, accessories. So Desolate Tomb 100 times is the one you should be shooting for. If you can't get into Desolate Tombs, uh, the Yeti 100 times is a pretty easy one to get. Um, it's just like Frozen Fang, pretty easy party comps. Um, the final boss isn't too bad now that everybody has bonus AP. Uh, so that's an easy one to go ahead and get. The Amazing Race is probably the easiest attack power achievement. However, it's only three attack power, so it's not really anything spectacular. You're not going to notice much of a DPS increase by getting that achievement. But it is pretty easy. It'll probably take you about two hours to go ahead and run through that dungeon that many times. Um, you do need a pretty full party, though, to do it because it is a longer dungeon. Um, to get that one done. So those are the attack power achievements to shoot for. Accuracy, like I said, is the Lair of the Frozen Fangs, a pretty easy one to get. Um, doesn't require much grinding or anything like that. The rest of them do take a lot of grinding. Um, Black Ram Supply Chain, defeating Pokemon is a pretty easy one to get yourself some piercing, if you wanted piercing for uh, PvP or for even for fighting in uh, dungeons and like. Um, it's a pretty solid accomplishment to go ahead and get for that. Uh, the additional damage ones, not worth your time. Um, additional damage doesn't really have too much of an impact in the game. It's just a flat number added on to every one of your attacks. Uh, so it's nothing really spectacular or worth the time. Whereas attack power scales based on your skills and your multiplying ratios and all that. HP, easiest achievement to get in the entire game is beating the Devourer 10 times. It's only 600 HP though, it's nothing noticeable. Um, then if you complete Sakana 300 times you get 2000 HP, which still isn't anything to write home about since you do have the Hong Moon skills now and the Hong Moon points that you can put your points into. So defensive skills, um, this is involving uh, increasing your defense. It's more PvP oriented since in uh, PvE you're going to be wanting to dodge everything anyway. Um, but yeah, these are achievements you can go ahead and get. None of them are too hard to get. Honestly, one of the easiest ones is probably new challenger approaches. Just beat, win 10 dual matches. 100 defense is a solid little bonus to your stats. Um, yeah, so those are the different uh, bonuses you can get. So if we just go over them real quick, you can get up to 350 bonus accuracy, 11 attack power, uh, 250 piercing, 41 additional damage, 2100 HP, and 250 defense. So those are the points you can get. Um, and to slot the point, all you do is you're going to see one of these open up. So you see I just click accuracy, and it gives me the accuracy 100. You can only have one of these slotted at any time, so you need to pick your best achievement. So like if I had attack power 9, I would probably be taking it over accuracy 100 since I already have pretty high accuracy with my soul shields. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this useful. Hopefully it gives you an idea on how you can go ahead and get these bonus attributes. They're free points. You just have to go ahead and do the achievements. Plus, you can go ahead and farm some items up too and make a little bit of gold on this. So anyway, guys, I hope you found it useful. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you with the next video. Peace.